Boy, there's a lot of people here. In fact, there's probably about 600 people here. And if each person in this room was narrow, there would be no stem cells in the audience. But how about if we went to BC Place, talking to more people? Even at BC Place, there'd be a small chance that there might be one stem cell in that audience. In fact, in all of British Columbia, um, if each person in British Columbia was a cell in my bone marrow, there'd only be about five stem cells in British Columbia, five blood stem cells in British Columbia. So although these cells are so rare, how can they be so important? Well, stem cells are really the building blocks of our tissues and organs. Um, how do we define a stem cell? What, what is a stem cell? A stem cell is a unique cell because it's a cell that can self-renew, which is make an identical copy of itself, and it can differentiate, which is forming the functional cells that make up our body. Really importantly, there are different types of stem cells. There are adult stem cells or multipotent stem cells that are tissue specific, like blood stem cells, that we can derive from our bone marrow. And also, we can get blood stem cells from umbilical cord blood. This is a tissue that's normally discarded when babies are born. So why do we know so much about stem cells in Canada, and why is this such an important area for Canadian research? Well, in fact, Canada is a leader in stem cell research. Stem cells were first discovered and identified through the work of James Till and Ernest McCulloch at the Ontario Cancer Institute um, in the 1960s. I show this picture because uh, my daughter, I took it during my last visit to Vancouver um, in front of the TELUS World of Science, and, and my daughter said, Dad, you're such a stem cell groupie, and <laughs> it really stuck. So, so what's so exciting about stem cells? Stem cells have the potential to be a living cell therapy. If you think about the drugs that we use for treatments, we started with chemicals, then we went to biologics. The next paradigm shift in medicine is using living cells as therapeutics. And this is really an opportunity to repair, replace, and regenerate this damaged tissue. However, there's a number of challenges. Fundamentally, we still don't really understand how stem cells make decisions to self-renew and differentiate. And in this particular talk, I'm going to talk about another challenge. How can we grow stem cells to make more of them? And the therapy that I'm going to talk about today is leukemia. Now, when people are treated for leukemia, uh, the chemotherapy or radiotherapy that's used destroys the bone marrow. So if we could replace that bone marrow with stem cells, we might have a curative therapy for this disease. However, many donations of blood stem cells don't have enough stem cells, so we want to try to grow them. Why are stem cells so difficult to grow? I'm going to use an analogy here to tell you about our technology. Pretend you're at a farm and you're trying to feed a particular chicken amongst a whole bunch of chickens there. That little chick there is representing the stem cell. Now, if you wanted to only feed that chicken, what might you do? One of the things you do is make a food that only the chick eats, shown in red in that a particular diagram. Another thing you might want to do is remove all the chickens, so you only had one chick really to eat the food. And that solution really is what we're using at this company called Xlthera. The technology is based on a novel chemical developed by Guy Sauvageau and Anne Marinier, a chemist and a biologist at the University of Montreal, and my lab at the University of Toronto that developed a novel bioreactor. This is sort of a special environment to grow stem cells in. And between the two of these, we managed to target stem cells specifically and remove the influence of the bad cells that are naturally formed when you culture these cells in culture. We're currently doing a clinical trial for this technology based on growing cord blood stem cells and expanding them in culture for seven days and then putting them back into patients. And so far, the results are really quite exciting. Now, it's really important to recognize that we all hear about stem cell technologies in the news every day. And stem cell technologies are being used now and will be developed